<laughs> All right, um, what do we got? Overwatch 2 retail patch notes for October 15th, 2024. That's today. Ugh. Um, Season of Spellbinders. Ooh. No freaking way. Oh my god, My Hero Academia. Battle as a Hero of Justice with Tracer as Deku, Reinhardt as All Might, and Juno as Gravity? Or create Chaos with Reaper as Tomura Shigaraki and Kiriko as Himiko Toga? Don't miss the Mega Bundle for Another the Ultimate My Hero Academia Kyoko, Collection? No freaking way! Are you actually interested in this? I don't. I, I've never seen My Hero. I have no interest in watching My Hero. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't really. Where's the Attack on Titan collab? <sighs> One day. Uh, Halloween Terror. That's the new mode. Hero Mastery mode for Cass and Brig. No one gives a shit. Interactive scoreboard. This is the best change in the whole patch. Holy fuck. Finally! Thank God. Wait, so how do you use the interactive scoreboard? Oh, middle mouse. Okay. Suppress this target. Nice. Alright, cool. Middle mouse. Roll delta tuning to man. Oh, a matchmaking update. Lost streak avoidance tuned down to different cases where it, it could increase worst case scenario queue times. Wait, roll delta has been updated to prioritize the tank role above other roles. Huh? What? So what, does that mean they're gonna try and match tanks more evenly than any other role? Is that what that means? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, he doesn't know what Delta means? Um, actually, I do know what Delta means, okay? I do, actually. It's the chain, it's, it's the difference in. Like, for example, Delta P. The difference in pressure. I do know what Delta P. I mean, Delta is. Okay, bitch. And when it's gotcha, it's gotcha. He only knows it from that YouTube video? Um, no, actually, because I, I also took a chemistry class and a physics class in high school, and I know what Delta is. Okay? Although you wouldn't believe it if you only saw my chemistry grade. <laughs> God, I fucking hated my chemistry teacher. I hope he doesn't work anymore. Jesus Christ. I honestly don't believe you passed those, bro. I got a D in chemistry. That is the only gr class that I've gotten below a B in ever. Throughout all of my fucking classes. And I skipped a C, went to D. And you're just gonna tell me it's my fault? Yeah, fucking right. And then the next year I took physics and I get an A? Okay. Sure. Fucking sure. Oh, I have BRB up? My bad. Chem is harder than physics? Yeah, and my fucking chem teacher was a disaster of a teacher who probably shouldn't have a job. Fuck, I still remember his name. I remember what he looks like. I remember what he sounds like. I still remember everything about that class. I remember that, where I sat in the class. I sat in the second column, second from the back. I remember it. Fucking ex exactly. I remember everything. You walk in from the door. The seats are to the right. I was not in the first column, I was in the second column, all the way back, second, or second from the back. Mm. 
Wait, I remember that. No, you don't. What do you mean? You were not in my class. <laughs> Japanese soldier who kept fighting 29 years after World War II? Anyways. Let's continue. Smart. Any tips for streaming using a console games? I know you mainly do PC. I don't- what do you mean tips? Get a capture card. That would help. Smart. Cheese X 34 months, Kaijin X 42 month prime. You need a capture card if you're gonna stream from your PC. <laughs> Apparently driving was harder than chemistry since you failed that the first time. Excuse there? Fuck off. <laughs> Uh, anyways, what is this? We got hosting public custom games now requires endorsement level 3. We'll have endorsement level 5, so you're mad. Uh, hide my name feature of a... The Unlinting Hero Lifetime Challenge? I don't know what that means. Wait, the win requirement per season is reduced from 50 to 25? Wait, but it was 25 before, then they changed it to 50, now it's back to 25? The Season Competitor Challenge, 750 lifetime wins in competitive play is now required to be completed to be eligible for- Oh, wow. Wow. Really? Damn! Holy shit. So I guess they don't want Smurfs in Top 500? How many do I have? Actually, I'm very curious. How many- How many ranked wins do I have? <laughs> Shit. Anyways, I gotta get out. I gotta. Only 250? I see. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's counting. I don't think it's counting. Um, Overwatch 1. Because if I go all modes. Wow. Cheese X 34 months. Uh, you pinkies X that 200 bits. Oh, oh this, is, this is what I love to see on my patch notes. The first hero mentioned, Malga. I love to see that. Hero update. Swapping your hero. Oh, this is good. This is really good. I like that. Increasing the duration of Malga's burn effect will help better reward going for the smaller, harder to hit targets. So increase from three to four seconds, huh? A gun in each hand and a smile on my face. Ooh. Yeah, this character's broken. GG. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. That burn's gonna be fucking annoying, though. Um. Okay, I saw so many people saying that this is a nerf to ram. There's just no fucking way this is a nerf to ram. I cannot fucking believe that. Anyone that says this is trolling. Like, they have to be trolling. This shit is not a nerf. 2.5x damage to barriers? How much damage does a punch do? Yeah. Everybody riot. How much damage does a fucking punch do? 65? So you're looking at 130 times plus- So 162.5 damage to a shield? Where's this fucking tank bot? I need to get- hold up. I'm getting involved. You guys like that quick math I just did, by the way? I don't know how much health these tank bots have. These tank bot shields have. But like- what the fuck is that? I am on fire. Assist me. This dad. I did imagine that in Kiriol. Imagine a ram with Kiriol. Doom, 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 doom.
No, Stop that shit is definitely like not a nerf. Thing. Yeah, because like... Before, like, yeah, you would do damage to whoever's in the shield, but your team couldn't do damage. They have to break the shield first. Now, if your whole team is shooting the shield with you, that person gets fucking deleted. You are Take everything from them. I think it's a buff. Fine tuning to make the barrier health regeneration rate as it becomes slightly too tough to break through. Be barrier health reduced from 650. That's dang. Who who cares? <laughs> who fucking cares? Awesome. I mean. Kind of interesting to, to apply this buff and then nerf his shield in the same patch, but I mean, I think Ryan was really strong, so it's fine. Hanzo health decreased. Now you, Hanzos can one-shot each other. I, so, I wish they went back on the slow charge time on his bow, because it just feels so awful. Like, this slow charge time actually feels miserable. I don't know. Wait, I can't read. Wait, they increased his health. I'm dyslexic, I told you. Um. Oh. Okay. But why? But why would they do this? Because you can still... My arrows fly true. Okay. So I guess they wanted to just increase his survivability, but make sure that in the 1v1 you can still get the headshot? I guess. Yeah, I've read the dev comment, but it doesn't really explain much. Like, I guess just they want to make him still survivable, but like, I don't. Anyways, Sojourn. These railgun changes swap with the twenty-five minimum energy it decays to for a longer time before it begins to degenerate, which alleviates some of the pressure to quickly use the secondary fire. Is the shot is getting a damage increase to help its effectiveness as an area denial tool? Oh wow, wait, that's kind of big, actually. Hold up. That's kind of huge, wait. We're in this together. All of us. Rail double What the hell? 99? 99? There we go. Well, how slow does it decay? Railgun charge holding. Well, that's really slow. That's really slow. Enemy down. Damn. I mean, coming through. I don't know. I'm still not sure Sojourn is good though. Although this fucking the E seems really good. She might be alright. That E is pretty good. Wait, Samba <laughs> I saw the fun- Before I get into this, I saw the funniest fucking tweet. Someone tweeted some shit like, You guys have no idea how shit it feels to have your hero's identity constantly changed. I'm like, dude, can we fucking- Like, what are we doing here? How shit it feels? Like, like, we're, like, the Sombra players are suffering? Like, what, like what, dude? Overwatch players are fucking oppressed? You wouldn't get it? Yeah, I guess not. Actually, I would get it. They changed Roadhog. Give, give Roadhog back his right click. Who says no? All right, so let's see. Stealth no longer... Hacked no longer ends stealth, but it does reveal Sombra. Hacked ability lockout effect duration reduced from 1.5 to 1.07. Okay, good. So you're not silenced Smart. for as long. Rest I like that. Sombra. This is... This... I cannot believe this was ever a fucking thing. There is no reason... Hack should have 
completely shut down Bob for the entire duration. That- I will never understand that fucking design philosophy. That is the most insane shit to me ever. He's a robot? Okay. So is fucking Zenyatta and Arisa and Bastion. If Sombra hacked them, should they have just fucking went to sleep and never wake up? My goat Bob is back, Superhead. Cooldown increase from 0.5 to 0.7 seconds. Okay. EMP cost increased by 12%. Stealth is no longer a passive. It now activates by using translocator. Now is a 5 second duration. Add, added a stealth timer around the reticle and removed ability icon. Taking damage now reveals Sombra for 1 second instead of ending stealth. And ending stealth. The opportunist passive has been added back in. Increases Sombra's weapon damage versus hack targets by 20%. See critically injured enemies through walls. Seems like a really big nerf though, I'm not gonna lie. Hold up. Does she move any faster? In my world, there are no secrets. Okay, the damage is fucking crazy though. Those are all body shots. Okay, wait a minute, hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Huh. You're doing the meme? I mean, yeah, I am doing the meme, but like... I am doing the meme, but that's still kind of fucking crazy, no? Peace. <laughs> Tanks have less HP in practice range? You're so fucking smart, I forgot about that. <laughs> but like, I don't think that's unrealistic. 16 bullets on a Torb? Like... I mean, look how fucking bold- I mean, everybody knows Torb is an easy hitbox, right? Like, this does not seem that unrealistic to me. What I just did to this Torb? <laughs> but I guess it is harder. I don't know, because like- both of those issues, no? I mean, I don't really know how she's gonna get in or get out now, though. Because you have to throw your translocator to get in, which everyone's gonna see, right? And then when her stealth runs out, she doesn't have her translocator for two seconds. I don't really know how Sombra is supposed to get in or out. Catch you later. How does Tracer get in? By not having a one blink on a seven second cooldown. That's how she gets in. <laughs> I mean... Mind you don't have to throw the TP where they can see. Gotta go. I mean, I, I, listen, if Sombra's terrible, I, I'm happy. Don't get it, don't get it fucking twisted. I don't give a shit if this character sucks ass. I really don't. You, like, I am not sympathetic here. Towards the Sombra players, I'm sorry, I fucking hate your character. And, uh, if she sucks now, well, it sucks to be you, but I don't really care. So. I do, she's cool. Um. Baptiste! Primary fire recoil reduced by 30%. So what is it? Easier to, sh easier to aim? What is this? What the fuck? What? Oh, hell nah. Bien tombé. 
Wait, I'm trying to like go as far as I can here. I am not pulling down at all, by the way. Just... Wait, if I can like aim this better? That's fucking ridiculous. The hell? Right, okay. Should I freestyle over this or what? Oh, it stopped. Okay, I guess not. My bad. <laughs> they said, please don't do that. We are not trying to hear that. <laughs> Hello. How do you always find a bug? Bro, I have no idea what just happened. Wait, does it happen again if I do that? That was a fatal shot. Wait, it did it again. Wait. It did it again until I shot. Wait, hold up. Okay. Ah, thanks, loves. Sombra players really out here <gasps> saying you wouldn't last an hour in the asylum the where they game. raised me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't give a shit. Brig cooldown increase repair pack. Wait, wait, what did they say for bat? This change is aimed at reducing the fatigue resulting from controlling the recoil over longer periods of play, more than trying to add power to Baptiste's primary fire. The fatigue? Are we fucking? What are we doing? Running like a, a ten kilometer? What do you mean the fatigue? Fatigue. What? I'm the cream of the crop. <laughs> That's fucking insane. Uh, break healing output over the course match quite high. So this is a slight adjustment to help bring that in line. That's fine. I don't really care. Break is kind of strong. Fatigue D's. Juno! Healing output is too high for how much mobility she possesses, so we're shortening her fall-off range to increase the importance of positioning well with her mo mobility abilities. You sleep with a brace for your frail twink wrists. Yeah, you and? You have no room to talk. I mean, Juno Nerf, I mean, she's kind of overtuned, so that's that's fine to me. I don't really see an issue with this. One small step at a time. I don't think this is going to make too much of a difference, honestly, but... Maybe the healing changes will help a bit. Who knows? Yeah, I think she's still good. Plus, it only it only reduces the 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 the, uh, the damage on the fall off, not the healing. So, wait, this bash about go in turret form. Look up, right click, and emote at the same time as right click. Like surely Juno's ult is just too good for her to be bad, right? What? How do, I, how do I do that? I lied, by the way? It's awesome. Fucking awesome. Caps time with the final of the points A and E now increases for attackers like as the, the segments get secured consecutively from one X, one X, one X. Particularly spectacular this game just success. <laughs> to 0.7 X, 1.1 X, 1.4 X to make the first segment easier to capture for attackers but cons consecutive ones harder. And defenders now respawn instantly as the first segment. Okay, so you're. Chat the they never want you to cap last to point. Philly. They never want you to cap last point. That's wild. Interesting. Yeah, if you cap all three ticks on last point, the game's instantly over. But, like, I feel like if that happens, then, like, just, like, if you're in that position where that's going to happen anyway and you're getting fucked this hard, delaying the game is not going to be doing anybody any favors. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know.
Like, you're not going to win the game. I don't know. Read the instead of when bit? What? Instead of when. Defenders now respawn instantly as the first segment and second segment get it insecured. Instead of when the previous objective points B or D get captured. Smart. Fridge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As soon as you cap one of the ticks, you're instantly respawning. What's wrong with that? That's what I said. Why did you dentage me? Yeah, you could cap the first points easier to cap, but like full capping. That's what I'm talking about. I know. I'm talking about full capping. Also, maybe I'm... Okay, maybe I'm stupid here. But shouldn't this be backwards? Because it's saying 0.7x, 1.1x, 1.4x. Oh, capture time. Never mind. I was thinking... I was saying, shouldn't it be backwards, like 1.4x faster? But they're talking about time, not speed. What? That's a different... What? Fuck off. Yeah... Capture time for defenders on objective oh, points B sucks. and D has been increased Man, by 10% in to give attackers more opportunities to attack the point. That I ordered from DoorDash and got in 10 minutes. Dude, I don't know. This game mode is so weird. Like, they've never had a game mode, I feel like, where they have to, like, apply all these random, like, bits and, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so, it feels so artificial. And not just like, you know, how the how it should be. I think it's the worst design game mode. I really think it is. Like, who's gonna remember all this in game? You know what I mean? Like, who's gonna be like, all oh, right? Of course that that, that the defenders get a ten percent increase on the capture time because they want to give us a chip. Like, it's it's just weird. It's just weird. We want to reduce the number of one-sided stomps occurring in the Clash game, but we also want to address the difficulty of securing at least one segment on the final objective point as attackers. So, we tweet the capture time for the defending team to make the fight for objectives, objective points B and D a bit more favorable for attackers. Huh? Am I crazy or does this make no sense? We tweaked the capture time for the defending team to make the fight for objective points B and D a bit more favorable for attackers. What I don't understand is why the each tick in last has its own cap time regardless of if you do them consecutively or not. It's stupid. Oh wait, no, I do get it. Never mind. I thought this was decreased by 10%. Never mind, it does make sense. I am stupid. I'm reading too fast. And these are all the map changes. Should I, should I just go look at the map changes in game? What I'm saying is why each tick in the last has its own Can cap time, regardless of if you do it consecutively or not. Was to the Ram and Rain nerf. Um, because Ryan's shield is too strong. Bro, like, Ryan is fucking good right now. Like, the, I don't know why people think Ryan is not. Like, Ryan is extremely. He does a lot of damage close range. He's extremely tanky. Like. And his mo as crazy as it sounds, his mobility is like nuts. Like, being able to pin and being able to cancel your pin and have the, the, the turn change is like fucking nuts. Like, this character is not bad. I don't know why people... Certain doom! 